everyone, it's Tammy, and this is going to be the third card in my series of the Avant Gardens stamp set. I love this stamp set. It is really cute, and it is only available through the end of March during our celebration, and the only way you can get this card is for free. So run, don't walk, <laughs> to the stamp site below. It's ttscraps.stampinup.net and make a $50 retail purchase and then you can pick whatever you'd like from the celebration catalog for free and it will be shipped directly to you with your order and if you would like this stamp set it's one of my favorites of course there's lots of them that I say that too because I love them all and this card we're going to use the peekaboo peach I love the peekaboo peach when I'm doing watercolors I like it anyway it's a beautiful color and I have whisper white cardstock along with an A2 sized card cut out of the peekaboo peach and this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper that I've cut in half at five and a half and then I've scored at four and a quarter so it makes just a side fold card or you can fold it like this if you'd like but for this particular card we're going to do this and then I have a piece of whisper white that's cut at four and a quarter no, sorry four by five and a quarter that fits right on top and then we can also do the same thing and put one right in the middle in the inside if you'd like sometimes I like to write just on, if it's light enough, sometimes I'll just write right on the cardstock. Other times I like to fancy it up a bit and put a piece of paper like this. Sometimes I even like to fancy it up a little bit and put a piece of uh, just regular typing paper or even better is the paper that makes the fun noise that I cannot remember the name of right now. Um, that's kind of fun to put in the middle too if it's really fancy but I don't get that fancy very often. And I'm going to use Peekaboo Peach and Pumpkin Pie and Mint Macaron are my inks of choice for this particular card. And I need a piece of scratch paper, so I'm just using the back side of the stem stamp set. And I'm going to start with my Peekaboo Peach. And I need my stamping pad. And I'm going to take my watercolor flower and I just want to make a bundle of flowers right here and I'm going to do a peekaboo peach and then I'm going to do a stamp off and then I'm going to do a peekaboo peach and then I will do a stamp off and then on the inside of the card I'm going to do something similar with the peekaboo peach but I'm just going to do a first generation stamp for that one. I'm cleaning off this color and then I'm going to come in with my pumpkin pie and this is just a darker kind of an orange color and I'm going to do one over here for that and one right here for that. And then, so that's on the inside of the card. This again is the outside of the card and I'm making my little bundle. And I'm doing just a little bouquet of different shades of the orange. I think that's pretty. And I think that that might be it. Then I'm going to take my mint macaron goodness. And I'm going to put that down. Cajun Craze would have been a good, or clip, Coral, Clips of Coral would have been a good color choice for those two, but whatever color you want, it's fine. I'm going to use the Mint Macaron, and I'm going to use this single leaf. And I'm just going to put it places around here using first generation and second generation. I'm not worrying too much about where it is. Kind of like that, I think. Maybe even... A little bit like that. 
And then I think I'm going to, oh, and I'm going to put some on the inside. And I think I'm going to use another um, leaf from in here as well. So there's that one. I'm cleaning that off. And then I think I'm going to use this little, it looks like a fern leaf almost to me. But I don't know much about flowers, so I could be totally wrong. But I thought that this might just add some cuteness to it. And then I'll do the same with this one. And I'm trying not to stamp this little stem too much. Just taking the ink off of it with my finger. There we go. I think that's cute. And I'll put that back. And then I'm going to take my chocolate chip. And I'm going to take this. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I don't think I'm going to use chocolate chip. I think I'm going to use Cajun Craze. Make it just a darker orange. With that middle flowery part. Ooh, yeah, I think that's pretty. And then I'll do it on the inside as well. Like that. And then I think I'm gonna take one of the sentiments, and this one is to someone who makes others so happy. And I cut a little piece of peach um, Peekaboo Peach, and I'm just going to use the same darker Cajun Craze. I'm just going to stamp this right on here. And I didn't get it very straight, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to stamp it again and see if this gets any straighter. Yeah, that one's better. Clean off my stamp, put it back. I think I'm done with the stamp, so I'm going to put this away. I'm going to put this away. I'm going to close all of my stamps. I'm going to take the inside that we made and I'm going to use my snail adhesive. Or in my case, it's my ATG gun, and I'm just going to put that right on the inside of the card, like that. And then I'm going to take this one, and this is going to go on the outside. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move you guys. And I think I'm going to put this, like, here, maybe. And maybe I'll do, like, a little cut this way. Neither one of those are very straight, but oh well. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut some of this off. And then to get this straight thing, what you do is you cut in the middle to how far you want it. And then you take from one end and go up to the center. And actually that's too far. I don't want my angle to be that strong. Go up to the center to meet it and then go up to the center to meet it here. And then you have a nice little flag. And you can put this wherever you'd like. And I'm just looking to see where I think I like it best. I think I like it right there. And I'm going to use my snail to put this down. I think I'm going to use snail on all of it. You could use dimensionals if you'd like. But I think I'm okay with snail. Here. 
And there we go. Simple and beautiful. I really like this card a lot. So there you go. Thanks guys for watching. And again, remember you can only get this for free and only for a limited time through the end of March. And if you click on my site below, you'll it'll take you right to it. And all you have to do is place $50 of retail purchase in your cart and then you'll be you'll be taken to the celebration page where you can pick your freebie and there you go thanks so much guys have a wonderful day bye bye